Oh, we're back. Welcome back. I guess we're back. We're back. We're, I'm going to make you wear that suit at uh, State Track the next couple of days. No, I bought some actually like heat condition shirts to help tomorrow because I am not. I mean, I feel bad for these guys because. Yeah, we're sitting in the shade for the yeah. most part. No, you are. I'm going to be down well, on that's the track true. shooting video. Do we have people in the discus? We have one, Corbin Cron- Cron- Cronister. Uh, Corbin, you got to make us come at 3.30, man, really? No, uh, girls are at 3.30. Oh, okay, good. We're good. Good. Can all we right. move it on? All right, moving on. Hey, these are all uh, middle distance runners here. Moise, I guess you're, you're long distance, I guess we'd say. Yeah. You run the 800. The 800 all of a sudden has become like Bakersfield's race. I mean, it. I don't think a few years ago you had Vondre Armour in the mm-hmm. early 90s win a state title, and then there was nothing. Uh, North had a kid, Anthony Mitchell, take fifth in the state maybe in like 2008, and then there was nothing else. And then all of a sudden, Ivan Gonzalez wins a state title. Isaac Trevino wins a state title. And here we are um, – Blake Haney could run a mean 800, too, if he wanted to. He yeah. didn't run it at state. But here we are, and, and from the Central Valley, we got three of the four quali- – actually, all three qualifiers in the 800, right? Because yes. uh, Peter well, Peter Handy from BHS, yeah, because, you were third in the 800. Yes. yes Ramon yes. got in as the fourth. And Ramon got in. Yeah, you were fourth, alternate. but you got in as an alternate from Ridgeview. And then, Curtis, you won the 800 at Valley. He did? <laughs> I know. We should we should have pumped that ego up anyway. No, we, should, we shouldn't do it. He went and got water during the break so Trevor wouldn't yell at him. I like that. Good man. That's appreciated. Oh, and he brought us Smiths. <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? I got you guys cookies. That's awesome, man. You're look at this. He's gonna he's gonna win a, a valley title, bring us cookies, and then win a state title. Uh, Peter, let's start with you. Oh, yeah. Third in the Masters, you're a sophomore. You're you're going to state as a sophomore. Did you expect that to happen? I mean, or has this been? Uh, is this, is this one of those deals where you said, "I know I, I can make it," and you did it, or did you surprise yourself? Uh, I was hoping all year to make it to state in the 800. That was my one goal from day one that was sort of that that was i mean are, are you checking standings and saying i got to be third where am i ranked in the, in the valley and, and those sort of things uh i was but um after i ran that 155 at the really west good. coast relays i just grab one was pretty confident i could make it could you guys make any more noise over there <laughs> <laughs> everywhere you go is noisy trevor got smiley faces. <laughs> all right take one all right eat it now we're having fun today i'm, I'm not eating it on the show though <laughs> i get crumbs everywhere but i appreciate that curtis um so West Coast Relays was kind of the breakout race for you then, Peter? Mm-hmm. Yes, it was. Um, what are you going to do about the heat? That's, that's going to be the buzzword. 106 tomorrow, 108, Friday, or, or 108 Saturday. Are you worried about that sort of thing? Uh, do you think it's an advantage? Are you preparing differently? Um, well, I'm drinking water like yeah. everyone else. Um, I kind of welcome it. I think of it as an advantage because we're from Bakersfield, and some other people aren't used to it, so... I think I got get, it. Get real close to the mic, guys, whenever you talk. I guess we're having a little <laughs> trouble hearing you. But So, I mean, the 800 should be Bakersfield's race if you think about it. This is a hard race. It's a grown man's race. That's what everybody says. And in the heat, even more so. I mean, that, that second lap is tough. <laughs> What's that, Ramon? I said, that's, that's my race. All right. <laughs> that's for me. <laughs> that, that race is made for me. All right. Okay. Moises, we're going to take a, a step back from the 800 and go to the 1600. You are a national record holder, or were at one time, in the junior 1500 meters. Yeah. Now you're at state in the 1600 meters. Uh, you were third at Masters. You're only a sophomore. Didn't run last year. You got to go in with some level of expectations here, right? Uh, yeah. Um, going into this, I know a lot of people who are part of my club, they expect me to do pretty well and be one of the top ones in the county for the 1600. So going into the season, I knew that, that was my goal. Kind of probably top three in the area. Get closer. Go closer to the mic. Get close to those mics. Curtis knows, man. Everybody <laughs> close to the mic. Uh, Mo- Moises, you, you um, uh, have had such a great year for Highland. I don't know you real well, but it seems like you get up for the big races. I mean, it just seems like this, this is you're, you're going to be a guy who's really going to bust out Friday. Is that, is that true? I mean, are you, are you pumped up about this? Uh, yeah, I'm really pumped up. Uh, big races usually are where – I perform my best, and just something happens where I get mentally ready, and just in the race, I feel it, and pull out PR, and usually good performance. Ramon Flores, you've been looking for love all year from B-Varsity, man, here you are. What's up, buddy? <laughs> we're, 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 we're glad to have you here. Uh, Ridgeview Senior, you got in as an alternate. When did you find out you were in-state? How long after Valley? Uh, well, uh, Eduardo had told me, like, like right after the 800 that he wasn't going to run it at State, so I was like, I was already, like, happy. Like, Oh, I, so you knew? Yeah. Did you know going in you just needed top four, or did he, he told no, you right after? No, I thought I needed top three. Okay. Yeah. So you went, you were pretty disappointed right at first, and then, yeah. um, and then you get the news. Uh, wh- what's it mean to you to end your career, State Championships? 
Uh, it means a lot. You know, uh, I put in a lot of work this season. I, it was by far like the hardest season ever. Um, I got to give credit to my coach. He he really pushed me. Like, I don't, I don't know. I can't even explain. Like, this this season was just like great for me. Like, you graduated Monday night. Tuesday uh, night? Yesterday. Last night. Last night? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Tuesday. Okay. Congratulations, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Ridgeview graduation. A bunch more tonight. We'll have photos from all those. Curtis graduated, too. I graduate tonight. Oh, you do tonight? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not a high school graduate yet. <laughs> I'm still young. Well, we, we still got time. <laughs> it means you're going to be outside in the heat again tonight. Um, mm-hmm. Ramon, what's, uh, what, what's, what's on the plate for you next year? Um, Next year, I'm going to be running at Santa Barbara. At UC Santa Barbara? Yeah, UC okay, Santa awesome. Barbara. Okay, awesome. Do we know that? I don't think we did. Nobody told us. All right. Did you, yeah, you guys don't care about me. I mean, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to tell us, man. You got to tell us. Santa Barbara's going to be a lot cooler. How do you deal with the heat? Are you prepared for it? Or oh, you yeah. Um, I mean, I'm cross country, I mean, that was that was hard. So I, I think I'm pretty used to it. I think it will be an advantage because, uh, well, I don't know about a lot of these other runners, but I know, like, I've got in a lot of miles in during this mm-hmm. the sun, like the heat, you know. I think I'll be fine. Uh, Curtis, you, this was your year, and we've talked about it a lot, to kind of ascend with I, Isaac won state last year. You made state. Um, he's gone now. You sort of took over that mantle of, of Bakersfield's premier 800 runner, which is all of a sudden a big deal now. Um, how have you sort of dealt with that, being the number one, being, having the target on your back all year long? Um, first off, uh, last year when I was in here around this time, I was like, can't wait for these guys to leave. But, man, I wish they were still <laughs> here. And uh, – uh, I'm happy, and uh, just a chip on my shoulder. It's kind of hard getting out there, but I'm glad all these guys I raced pushed me in every single race. Uh, you, you probably got pushed in some cases more than maybe you thought you would in local races, right? Yeah, I'm always just creeping up on me on league. Uh, Peter, <laughs> you know, West Coast, so it's yeah, good. Then, that's good. Uh, how far away from Smith's Bakery do you live? I live four houses away. <laughs> so do you go there often? Yeah, uh, no, that was my first time. Oh, I was going to say, how, how does the Smith's Bakery work with with Elite Runner? I mean, that doesn't seem like it mixes. No, I go right I go to, right next door at A3. So. Oh, okay. They were like, maybe she was Smith, and I was like, all right. So all right. I went. Um, Peter, what's state going to be like, you think? The big stage, all the people. I mean, is that something you, you're going to embrace? Are you nervous about it, excited about it? Uh, I'm excited about it. Um, I just the, I just block out the crowd when I run. Um that that usually helps a lot. The 800 is such a tactical race. How are you planning on running your heat? Uh, just going out fast and uh, staying fast. Uh, I just can't ever uh, die off or relax in the race. Um, uh, that's what I'm going to try and do. So you're going to go out fast. If you find yourself in the lead after a lap, is that a bad thing? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. Um, as long as I run my times, I'll be good to go. Right. Uh, Moises... 1600 is not quite as tactical of a race, at least not at first. But what's your what's your plan in your heat? I mean, you, you have to worry about time because you compare times from the. I think in the 1600 there are two heats. Yeah. Um. And, but you also you know if you place in the top three, you automatically get through. Uh. What's your what's your strategy going in? Um. Really, I'm just gonna kind of stay in the back of the pack because watching these races when I was younger and even just recently, I know it turns out to like the last 400. So I'm just going to sit back, pick off people when they start falling off, going too fast, mm-hmm. and hopefully leave it out at that last 300, 400. If a group breaks away, how far, how far away is too far away for you to be comfortable? Uh, around 50 meters. Okay. If they're, if they're 100 meters in front, you've got to go get them, in other words. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Hopefully they'll never get that far. Well, they shouldn't, but you never, you never know how these things will go. Ramon, how about you? What's your strategy going in? I mean, you... you I, I don't know if maybe you think of yourself as an underdog at this point, having been an alternate, but obviously the goal is to get through. Well, um, when, I, when I ran the 800, uh, I had just run the mile before. Like, I had uh-huh. run a 418, so I think uh, this time around, like, I'll be more, like, well-rested. That's I'll be true. fresh. I feel like I could run uh, a lot faster than what I showed at Valley. Hydrated? And, huh? Hydrated? Yeah, I'm hydrated. Okay. Thank you, sir. Kurt, Kurt <laughs> that's three. Curtis, you're... Uh, you're there you go. We've got to go get some more. We're, we're going to let you go here in a minute. Uh, in the heat, good for you, bad for you? How, how did you react when you found out how hot it was going to be? Uh, I actually, I sort of like the heat. Um, you know, it feels good. <laughs> and I'm just going to go out there and run my race. I love the crowd. The crowd gets me hyped. So, I mean, if, they, if they're if they leading the first lap, I'm usually leading the first lap because most kids are too 
too scared to lead the first lap, I want to say. Yeah. So Vondre Armour taught me how to lead the first lap. You don't mind that, huh? I don't mind it at all. And in, in your heat, obviously, as one of the favors in this event, you don't want to expend too much energy on Friday, but you've got to make sure you get through. What are you thinking Friday? Yeah, you know, I mean, unless we pop off a PR, which I wouldn't mind doing Friday, because I know I have a lot left, and uh, I feel a lot healthy. And re and long as I'm relaxed and everything, I think it's all going to be good. I don't know how the southern the kids down in the southern section are going to react, because mm -hmm. They're the ones, I guess, running the 800 that runs the show. So, but we're gonna have to see because they're coming down a central section. This is it for you, man. Are you hyped? Are you? I mean, is this is state your senior year? This is your stage. Yeah, I mean, I'm graduating tonight. Then I gotta go home and get some rest, and then head up there and racing so late, which I don't mind at all. All right. Well, the big stage, the lights will be bright for you guys. 800 runners and the 1600 in Moises will be a little bit warmer, but we think you can handle it. Curtis Rokeld. Ramon Flores, Moises Medrano, and Peter Handy, thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to let you go and get another crew in here. This is the B-Varsity Life track and field special. Bye, boys. Good luck. Yeah.